Welcome back to my channel. This is Erica, an expat living in London. I walk around London and show you the interesting things about this fascinating city. And today, follow me to Piccadilly Street. Last time, we walked around Pall Mall Street, the centre of London's gentlemen's clubs. Walk five minutes to the north of Pall Mall Street, we'll reach the Piccadilly Street, where the gentlemen did their shopping in the 18th century. Today, they are still full of gentlemen's boutique shops of tuxedos, umbrellas, shoes, shirts, ties, etc., which reminds me of the movie Kingsman. Piccadilly Street is not only for the gentlemen, but also their wives, the ladies in London. The first Earl of Burlington built a shopping arcade known as the Burlington Arcade for his wife to shop safely among other upper class ladies and gentlemen away from the busy and dirty open streets. The arcade was opened in 1819 and positioned itself as elegant, exclusive, upmarket shopping venue. Although the arcade we see today is not original, it still offers luxury goods jewelry, perfume, shoes and clothes such as this perfume that cost over 300 pounds. I'm quite sure this luxury macaron shop is the only one I can afford. Lots of calories though. Well, don't be upset because right across the street is my favorite shop in London, Fortnum and Mason. It was founded in 1707 on Piccadilly. Charles Dickens described it as I see Fortnum and Mason. All the hampers fly wide open and the green downs burst into blossom of lobster salad. Fortnum and Mason is the heaven of English jam, tea, biscuits, chocolate, wine and any other delights you may desire for the dining table. The gorgeous corner store has over 300 years history. In 1707, William Fortnum met Hugh Mason, who owned a small store in St. James Market, and that was the start of the story. Mr. Fortnum was a true entrepreneur, and he capitalized a number of ideas of developing potable food for travelers heading west from London. One of the ideas was scotch egg, hard boiled egg, wrapped in sausage meat and coated with fried breadcrumbs. Over the past centuries, Fonham and Mason has been supplying food to the kings and queens, the soldiers, and even the Everest expedition. There is a tea room in Fonham and Mason where you can enjoy a decent afternoon tea. Fonham and Mason is truly an English brand and all the stores were located in the UK although it offers global delivery, until the first ever store outside the country opened in 2019 in Hong Kong. So, definitely come and check out Fortnum & Mason when you travel to London. Next to Fortnum & Mason, Hatches is London's oldest bookshop, established in 1797 by John Hatchard. Hatches has been on this location, number 187 Piccadilly Street, for over two centuries. Hatches has a fantastic relationship with the authors, publishers, and royal household of Britain and Europe. So it offers a vast variety of signed copies and first editions. If you are a true bookworm and are searching for a particular book or rare editions, simply reach out to them through email and they will be willing to source the book for you, however obscure. I will link the website and contact info in the description. Keep walking for 5 minutes, we'll arrive at Piccadilly Circus, one of the most touristy places in London. But that's the story for another time, as I can't wait to go back home and try out the Fortnum and Mason pistachio and rose butter. Before you go, don't forget to click the subscribe button and I will see you next time.